Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, so today we're going to have a look at setting up something kind of cool. Uh, we're going to look at setting up Reshade for Dune 2000. So Dune 2000 is quite, an, uh, quite fair to say it's quite an old game. Uh, but you can actually use some of these tools to improve the graphical fidelity of it uh, or apply some cool post-processing filters. Um, I originally came across this through a CNC mod called Tiberian War Warzone um, and I was quite happy to actually be able to set it up and get it working with this. So for those in the community who want to use it, this is just a little quick guide to how to do it. Uh, I'll be leaving links below in the description uh, for how to do all these downloads and stuff like that, but I'll walk through it briefly here at the start. Uh, so there are four pieces that we're going to be looking at. Uh, DG Voodoo 2. Uh, this is partly optional, it's only if your version of Doom 2000 does not have Direct 3D9 as a renderer and we'll go into how to check that and everything else. Uh, Reshade, which is going to be the main thing we'll be using. A copy of Doom 2000 if you don't have one already, how to get it, where to find it. And then um, a link to an optional preset file that I've been using uh, from Warzone itself. So if you want access to that and try and integrate it into your own game, if you like the aesthetic and look of it, by all means we'll find a way to do that for you. Uh, step two, uh, we're going to be having a look at how to set up DG Voodoo 2 if you don't want the renderer. Uh, and even if you do, you might like to use this so you can get access to the later DirectX um, After Effects and stuff like that. Then step three, how to set up Reshade. Step four, uh, how to go about finding your preset file and use it with Reshade. Uh, and then how to actually uh, use Reshade in the game and verify it's all working and all that good stuff. So, first up, download links. Uh, I'll have these in the description, but DG Voodoo 2. Uh, it'll look something like this. This will change over time, of course, but basically you want to go to the official download repository. Just click on this. And it'll take you to a GitHub page with a whole bunch of releases. Uh, take the most recent one, download the zip, and put it into its own little, it'll unzip into its own little folder, which I have here. So that's the first thing. That's all you have to do for now. Uh, second thing, reshade. Go to reshade.me. Hit download, uh, like so. It'll take it to the bottom, download reshade. Currently version 4.9.1. It'll tell you to download the .exe, which I've already done. Have it here. Uh, and then that's all you have to do for now. Download the reshade. For Doom 2000, uh, if those aren't familiar, uh, there is a free version of Doom 2000 available via Doom Master. Uh, this is the main site, doommaster.webs.com. You can go into files. Uh, I'm currently testing this with the lightweight version, but I use the heavier weight version for my own personal client, and it's worked with all this stuff, no problem. Uh, so either or should work just for you. So that's Doom 2000, and then the optional uh, Warzone preset file, I'll be putting a Google Drive link to this in the description. It's totally optional, you don't need to access this. Uh, but just for an idea in terms of what's actually in this file. Uh, it gives you a whole bunch of preprocessor definitions, and then it's based like .ini format, formats, format uh, where you have a base of pre-applied uh, configurations as well as their settings, etc. And this is useful if you want to use like the same kind of renderer settings across multiple games that are using Reshade. Uh, so that's what's included with that link. Um, and then the final thing will be launching the game, hopefully, uh, and pressing home to access it. So that'll be it. Uh, with that in mind, we'll get straight into it. So I'll move this off screen, make this more full screen. So this is our main focus. Uh, so first thing, setting up DG Voodoo 2. Uh, now first, I suppose before we get into that, uh, how do I know if I need this or not, right? So if you go into your local Doom 2000 install, you go to your config.exe, you'll see here uh, resolution renderer display mode. Depending on how old your Doom version is, um, some of you probably have much older versions. The most recent up-to-date one, I was happy to find out just today when I downloaded it, it actually comes with Direct 3D9 out of the box. Uh, so that's actually really cool and saves you a lot of effort and you like, most likely won't have to deal with the DGVD2 stuff unless you want to get some of the later, um, some of the more cooler advanced graphical fidelity effects with Reshade. Um, so that's how you can verify whether or not you'll need it or if you can just try Reshade straight up. Uh, once you've done that, uh, we're still going to go through the process here of just setting up DG Voodoo for the sake of it. Uh, and because you'll be able to access those better features. So how do I set up DG Voodoo 2? Uh, so once you've unzipped the downloaded folder, it'll look something like this. Uh, don't get too overwhelmed, it's not going to be that complicated. We're just going to take one or two boxes in here, copy some files and get in. Uh, so we run the .exe file. Uh, it's all very safe. I've been running this for a couple of days, haven't had any issues uh, so far to date. Um, that's the way it's been. 
Uh, you get this control panel with a whole bunch of settings and configurations you can mess with in here. Uh, we're not going to be touching a lot of it. it. This is just a quick way to disable um, their default watermark, which is on, uh, which is fair enough. It's free software. They want to kind of advertise and stuff like that. So we're actually going to be using the DirectX version of this. Uh, so you can pop in here. You can tick DG Voodoo watermark, uh, tick it off, hit apply, and then hit OK. So like this, hit apply, uh, hit OK, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, one thing to note is if you do launch the game and happen to see if there's still, hey, there's still a watermark going on, open this back up, have a look at your config folder running instance here, and change accordingly. This one, uh, the app data roaming DG Voodoo, is the global setting, I believe, for the majority of applications. So this is the one that I've had to go into and disable the stuff on before. Uh, so that's just a little note if you do happen to see DG Voodoo showing up watermarks in your stuff. Uh, Cool, so that's the first part. And uh, the second part of the DG Voodoo setup is depending on your own machine and architecture, you'll be copying various files from here. Uh, we'll be going into MS uh, x86. I'm gonna be copying these four files. And then we're going back to our Doom 2000 install. So where we just have our fresh version of Doom 2000. And we're just gonna paste them in here. Uh, you're gonna be prompted, do you wanna replace the files already in this destination? Yeah, replace them. Sweet. Uh, so we just set up the DG Voodoo, turned off the watermarks, and we've moved the files into the Doom folder. Next up, we want to go about setting up Reshade. Uh, so the, the dot executable is actually quite good. It gives you two options. Uh, click here to select a game and manage its Reshade installation. That's what we'll be interested in. And it'll actually auto-populate a bunch of games that are already compatible with it. Um, and if it's, you, you happen to see your Dune sh show up on this list, you're absolutely laughing. Uh, um, because it's a more older game, <coughs> and not likely using the most recent renders, you're not going to have a bit of difficulties locating it here. Uh, you can click browse, which we're going to do in a second, but you can use this with multiple other games. You don't have to restrict this to just using legacy games. Um, I just enabled it recently for the CNC remaster collection just to try it out, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, your mileage will vary, of course, with profiles and settings and tweaking here and there as required, but uh, yeah, you'll be able to get all your various things in here. But can't find the desired game in the list, I'm going to click browse. Uh, you want to go to wherever you've downloaded and unzipped your Doom 2000 install. Uh, so we're going to be using this one. Uh, and then select the executable, hit open. Uh, it's going to ask which rendering API does Doom use. Uh, use the more up to date one. So that's the Doom 10, 11, 12. Uh, and a good suggestion I tend to see in a lot of these videos is to uncheck all of these and then recheck. So you get all access to absolutely everything uh, in the bundle. Uh, it'll take a little bit longer to load, but just for the full demonstration purposes, we'll do it here. Uh, it'll go through, basically this just goes through a bunch of different GitHub repositories, pulls these like um, fan-made renderers that work with Reshade and just downloads them as you can see here. And uh, it's also going to be a nice archive, I guess, of access to these renderers in case you need to go into these individual GitHubs later down the line and uh, try dig them up if for some reason Reshade removes it from the default menu here. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, so we've gone through setting up DG Voodoo. Uh, this is about as far as it goes in terms of setting up Reshade. Not a huge amount to it, and there it is, it's already done. Uh, hit X here. The next thing um, is on our list, as you can see here, we can refer back to it. Uh, optional step four, move our custom preset file to the Doom folder. Again, this is totally optional, uh, but we're gonna copy this, and this is the file you'll be able to download. Uh, we'll put it into our Doom 2000 folder here. Should be all good. That's all that's required for that. And then hopefully, uh, let me just pause that music for a sec. Hopefully we can uh, now go in here and run Dune for the first time with this executable and see what happens. Hopefully this will capture. Uh, yeah, it is. Cool. And you can see here it pops up at the top. Uh, visit Reshade. Reshade is now installed. Press home to start the tutorial. Um, I'm not going to give a full tutorial of how Reshade works, but the TLDR, uh, when you first launch it this time, you can hit continue, skip tutorial. Skip tutorial is probably what you're going to want. Um, again, the graphical fidelity here is quite low in terms of the resolution, so it's a little bit awkward to work with. Uh, you can use a Reshade preset here. Uh, I'm going to click this, double click this, let it load up this preset. Cool. Uh, you can hit home, uh, start a new game, hit OK, and you can already see uh, some of the graphical fidelity effects here, I believe. It's a little bit finicky to look on this resolution, so what I'm actually going to do is pop out 
uh, and change the resolution of the client. I'm used to using it at 1024 by 768. Uh, so let me actually just adjust it to that first. Because uh, again, you know, it's a legacy game. You can get it configured and working with a smaller resolution. It should be fine. But for the most part, I want to use it for the uh, the slightly slightly larger resolution. Um, it's a bit easier to see the reshade menus and everything else. Cool. Uh, so yeah, you have a bunch of settings in here that you can apply. Uh, ASCII, of course, is like one of the more obvious ones. When you enable this, uh, it'll turn everything on the screen into your ASCII settings. But the ones that I tend to use, uh, and again, you can choose to use a preset, you can choose not to use a preset. Uh, the ones that I tend to use, FXAA, I believe, is a popular one. Uh, colorization, uh, if you can get access to that as well. Cartoon can be pretty good. Uh, SMAA, and again, your mileage is going to vary slightly in terms of what version of renderer you're using, uh, what options that you've actually downloaded with it. Uh, clarity you can download as well but there's a whole bunch of stuff in here the key thing is that at this point you're verifying that it's actually working in game uh, some of this is going to look good some of this you may not be a huge fan of that's all totally fine um, bloom settings and stuff like that tend to be quite popular so neo bloom you can try that out uh, this is kind of like the classic lens flare type effect but now you can see a few of them are stacking on top of each other and you get some uh, some questionable side effects um, in terms of how good or not it's going to look. Um, I guess we'll try that. We get Atreides into a mission. claimed strategic regions. Ordos moved in on the east. Harkonnen invade from the north. Cool. All right, you can go into one of these. Hit start, and here you go. Orders, sir. Away you go. Out. So you have fresh installed Dune 2000, yes, sir. working with Reshade. Uh, you can toggle these settings as you like. Uh, you can complete. actually move this box around the place too, if you want uh, to see specific things. Active to top is a useful setting here, so it'll set a bunch of these things all the way up here. Uh, so certain settings aren't to your liking. And again, under each of these individual settings too, you can go in and customize all the configuration. Um, I haven't looked myself yet, but I'm sure that there's a huge amount of people online with custom uh, reshade presets that you can use. Again, you can just drag them into your folder and select them through this drop down menu here. If you don't store them in the same folder as your game, you can use the double dot thing here uh, to select them elsewhere. Uh, that's how that would work. But yeah, that's a quick overview uh, how to get Reshade working with your Dune 2000 install. Uh, as mentioned before, if you're not using the DG Voodoo 2 setup, uh, this will just be D3, D9. And I believe you'll be having access to less of the uh, renderers and options in here, uh, just because a lot of them aren't made for older games. So if you want the more recent ones, I suggest trying it using Voodoo, DG Voodoo 2. Uh, with your install, it does give you a little bit of delay in terms of when you enable something, as you've probably seen here, when you enable something and when it goes live, depending on how graphically intense it is. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, so hopefully that's useful to you. Uh, it might help spice up some of your gaming. I'm looking forward to using it more in the future. Um, I'm not sure if I have a save I might be able to load. No, because it's a fresh install. But that's uh that's pretty much it for this little tutorial and um, if you have any questions or anything feel free to drop them in the comments uh, as always i'm more than happy to answer any queries but i'll leave this up here again it'll be links to all these in the description but if you're curious on what's required and you're following step by step here's what you need to do um, i'll try to leave timestamps below as well uh, so it's easy enough to follow this cool well thanks very much for watching guys uh have a good weekend and i'll chat to you all soon peace out